everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect your Vivo VZX to your TV directly without the need of a computer. So you wanna make sure before you plug it in directly, you wanna check your Vivo document camera and make sure it has an output. So as you can see, this one has an HDMI input. Some Vivo document cameras, as in, uh, like the uh, V4K, only works being plugged into a computer, which means you'll need to have a computer to open the Vivo Visualizer software and then connect your computer to your TV or projector. So, so you will need to have another, you have to have your computer with the IPvo with the USB to have the image. But in this case, our IPvo VZX has an output of HDMI and it also has a battery. So you do not need the power if the battery is charged. You can go ahead and check if the battery is charged. Oh man, <laughs> it's empty, but I think it'll work, let's see. Sorry, one change of plans. I was gonna use the built-in uh, battery, but I guess <laughs> the battery is dead. So if you have the VZX, you can go ahead and use the built-in battery. You can just need, you would just need the HDMI and the VZX and plug it in. But since my battery is dead, I'm going to require the USB cable to plug it into power. And if you wanna plug it into a, a wall outlet, then you'll need one of these adapters that convert USB to this. So step number one, of course, is, and this will also work if you have the VZR. Cause this is the v yeah, VZX, so VZR, you, this, this does the same thing, it's in green, but you'll just need a, the VZR does the same, it's just that you also require power. So this will work with all the other document cameras. So what you wanna do is first plug in the power. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the USB-C. This runs on USB-C, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. There we go. And you, if you have a VZR, you wanna make sure that the switch is not on Wi-Fi. You wanna click to USB slash HDMI. So you move down the switch. So now as you can see, now it's on USB. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this into a wall outlet. I'll be right back. So as you can see now we're receiving power. I already plugged it into the back because you can see the lights flashing. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our HDMI cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna go ahead and locate the only HDMI input and plug it in like this. It only goes one way, so don't force it. And now we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and plug this other end to our TV, or if you have a projector, it'll be the same thing because it's just the cable. In my case, I'm using a TV, but as you can see, it has two inputs. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the first one. So let me go ahead and plug it in with one hand. Oh, sorry for the camera movement. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. There we go. So now you wanna make sure your TV or projector is turned on. So as you can see, I already went ahead and turned it on, but as you can see, we're on the wrong input. It's on VGA. So I wanna locate the source button. So I'm gonna click on source. I'm gonna click on HDMI 1. If you plugged it into HDMI 2, just select 2. Or if you projector, you just click on Epson projector, you just click source search, and it'll look, but make sure your document camera is turned on. So now what you want to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera, even though the battery is dead. <laughs> what you want to do now is, Turn on the switch. So this is the switch right here. You want to make sure it turns green. The top turns green, and you'll get a set a, a green light, meaning it's receiving power, and a white light, meaning that it's producing image. But let me go ahead and plug it in over here because I need the power. Sorry about that. Then we can show our remote. There we go. Now it automatically detected the input. So now, as you can see, it's working. I can. This is the TV remote. You can turn on the light. So if it's dark or you wanna have a brighter image, you can go ahead and turn it off. You can zoom, you click on the plus. Now that's way, that's all the way zoomed in. The maximum is five if you look on the right. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to turn it on. Once you're, I mean, sorry, connect it. When you're done, you just turn this off, the, the power switch. So now, when you do have, oh, it worked now with battery. So as you can see, this is the VZX and it's working with battery. Now it's receiving power. As you can see, it's producing image, right? Went from the battery. So you technically just need the HDMI if your battery is charged. So then this button, you can always plug this in using to your computer as well. You just plug this into the USB to your computer and not power. So this button, as you can see, it says capture, which is the, to take a picture if you're using the software. Well, if you push this button on your, uh, uh, if you're just using HDMI, look at what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. Sorry, I'm doing this. I don't move the camera. Sorry about that. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and turn it back on. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light. And I'm gonna show you. So we click on this button, which is the capture button, which technically takes a picture if you're on the USB connection. So as you can see, if I click on that, 
the freeze icon showed up. So this works as a freeze option. As you can see, my hands are right here. I'm not touching the button anymore. So it freezes the image. So this is cool. For example, let's say we're gonna unfreeze that. You unfreeze it by pushing the same button, this button. So let's say this, our TV remote is our, I need to focus that again, sorry. So let's say our TV remote is our power. I mean, sorry, <laughs> our, our paper. We're gonna go ahead and click on the capture button. So you can see the freeze icon showed up. I can go ahead and grab our remote. And I have it right here. So let's say it was a paper of work or something and you want to keep it up there for example, it'll freeze the image. So now as you can see, it's, it's frozen. You have your paperwork over here. You can show everyone. And then once you're done, you just click on the capture button again. It'll unfreeze it. And, you can, and again, it's a live image. So another function, this button that it focuses. This button, as you can see, it's focusing by itself. Let's say you're showing something, but you don't want it to focus on its own. You want to keep it locked in that focus. You want to hold this button. So we're going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and hold this. It beeped and now it says lock AF. So that means it locks the autofocus. So whatever focus it's on now, it's locked. So as you can see, if I move the camera around and I move it, it's blurry, but it's not going to focus anymore because the focusing is locked. So if you want to get rid of that, if you want to focus again, you just click on the button and it'll remove the focus lock. Let's see if I can show you more functions. Uh, yeah, so you can see the green, you want to make sure these two lights are on because that shows that it's image, that it's image is on. This is the light button. It has a light, so you can click on that, it gets dark. These are filters. You can, you can switch the filters of the picture. You just keep on clicking the button. And there we go. We have rotation. This one right here. It'll rotate the image. So you can see now it's flipped. It's upside down. You can flip it again. Oh, where's the button? <laughs> I'll just keep flipping, and that's it. And then we have the zoom buttons, which of course you can go ahead and zoom in. I already did those. And then you click the minus, let me see if I can, the minus, well that's still zoomed in, to zoom back out. And, oh, no, you not, you don't want to go too much out, because you can see now I switched the aspect ratio. I'm going to just keep it, make sure it's on the full TV screen. This is to exposure to make the image. I'm not gonna mess with those because this sometimes it's hard to get it back. It's just the exposure. So you can have it more bright or more dark. And of course the autofocus and oops, oops. And then this button is to turn off the uh, IPvo VZX or VZR, depending on what you're using. So this is really cool if you don't want to have it plugged into your to your computer. It's so much more simple. You can just have it connected directly to your TV or projector, and it's more more it's simple too because you just have the HDMI and the power. If you just want to have it plugged into power the whole time, you can go go ahead, totally do that, so you don't like uh, have to recharge the battery. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, and I'll try to answer that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So if you uh, see you guys next time in my next video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. See you guys next time in my next video. Goodbye.